Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we have a pretty good video for you, at least I think so. Um, we're going to talk about how to stream with two PCs and not one of these. No capture card for this one. We're not going to use a capture card to get your video and audio from your gaming PC over to your streaming PC. Instead, we're going to do it all with software and Ethernet. Let's get into that. All right, before we jump into this, I just want to make sure everybody knows that this method will only work if both your gaming and streaming computer are plugged into Ethernet on the same network. All right? Pretty simple. As long as both your computers are connected to Ethernet at your house, then this method should work for you. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first step you're going to want to take is go to Google, type in NDI tools. And it's going to be the first link that pulls up. We'll click on that. And as soon as we get here, we're just going to scroll down. It talks about basically everything that that's there. Um, NDI five is coming, but since it's not out yet, we're going to go ahead and download and uh, 4.6 today. So you click the download link. It takes you basically just to the bottom of the page. And what you're going to do is click on NDI tools for windows. Um, they have it for Mac, but we're, we're talking gaming. So typically we're talking windows, right? Um, so you then click the download button on the NDI tools for windows. You fill out this little form. I've already done this. They send you an email that you click on. Um, and there's a link in there and you'll click on that link to download the NDI tools. And you can see down here in my download bar that I have NDI for tools.exe. So once you've done that, that's when you'll go into your downloads folder and just double click on NDI tools, exe. We accept the agreement. It'll install it in under C program files. And we will go with, sorry, all NDI tools is we'll just select it all because you never know what you might need all we're going to use is the screen capture tool for this particular tutorial um but um i'm probably going to make videos about the rest of these later on um so good idea to just have them all so that they're there um so we'll click next and install and then after this installs um, we'll go over how to set it up so that we can then move over to the streaming PC and we can look at Streamlabs OBS. Um, that's the, that's the streaming platform that I use. Um, it's very similar in OBS studio and others as well. So you'll get the general idea. If you don't use Streamlabs, it'll be something similar. So we don't need to view any of those. So we uncheck those and hit finish. Easy enough. Then all you're gonna need to do is hit your Windows key, type in NDI, or sorry, not NDI, screen capture. Because we're gonna use this NDI tool, screen capture. What that'll do is it'll run in the background. So what you'll have to do is come down to this little arrow down here in your taskbar, and you will see the little NDI symbol down here at the bottom. If you right click on that, it will show capture settings and audio source and webcam audio source. So this is very important. Your audio source is going to be your system audio. All right. So that way, basically the games you're playing, um, anything that you're doing on your gaming PC, it's taking from the system audio and sending it somewhere. And then you're going to want to assign your webcam audio source to be whatever your microphone is. For me, that is my chat mic from my Go XLR. So I would choose that. Um, then once you've opened screen capture, um, there's nothing to select to tell you what monitor um, it's going to grab. It actually grabs all sources from your um, graphics card. So 
all you need to do is choose your audio source and your webcam um, source or your microphone source. Um, and that's it. We'll, we'll select which monitor to grab um, once we're on our streaming PC. Frame rate, you can, you know, use any of any of these frame rates, but typically you want to use the 59.94p. Um, your capture settings, you can actually select specific regions of capture um, and whether or, want, or not you want your mouse to be seen and things like that. Now that we have that set up, we can move over to the streaming PC and we can talk about um, how to set it up in OBS, um, Streamlabs OBS. And it'll, like I said, it'll be similar for OBS Studio or any other streaming service uh, software. So let's move over there. All right, so the next step here is to be on the streaming PC and to get our NDI sources from the gaming PC to the streaming PC. This is a two-step process. Um, and all you're going to do is set up two NDI sources, one for your microphone, one for your video game. Um, you'll grab your your video game monitor and sound from that monitor. So first thing I did was I added a new scene over here on the left, plus add new scene. And then under sources, I added a display capture so you guys could see what's going on here. All right. Now, uh, forewarn you, we're going to have a little bit of an echo for a second because we're going to set up the microphone audio first. So we're going to click this little plus button, go NDI source, add source. We'll rename this microphone or just mic. And we will hit add. All right. And right now you're probably going to be hearing a little bit of an echo and you can't see anything on my screen um, because the NDI source is um, covering up the display capture. All right. So what I've gone ahead and done is hit the little eyeball on my NDI source so that you guys can see my screen again. Um, and all we'll do here is just make sure this is highlighted and click on settings. So this is what you should be seeing um, when you hit add source NDI source. The source name is going to be whatever your gaming rig is called and then we're going to start with audio only. This is going to be your microphone audio. Um, and then I like to make sure that the latency mode is low experimental. And then we're done. Now, because I clicked this little eyeball, you're actually still hearing my microphone from um, my GoXLR. So what I'm going to do is mute the GoXLR audio right here. That's my line in audio. And I'm going to unhide the NDI source. So you guys won't see Streamlabs anymore. You'll just see the big NDI thing, but you'll be able to hear um, me through the NDI source. Um, so one thing I want to do before I do that is you can actually see down here in the mixer that the mic is typed exactly the same as your NDI source. Um, and you can see that it's bouncing up and down, but because we hit this little eyeball, it muted it. So it's still capturing it, but it's not allowing it through because we're hiding it slash muting it over here in your sources. So when I mute my GoXLR here, um, you won't hear me for a second, and I'll show you that the, the lines for the microphone are still bouncing up and down. Then we'll unhide the NDI, and you should be able to hear me again. So here we go, muting the GoXLR. So now I've unhidden the NDI source, and all you can see on the screen is NDI, and um, but you can hear my microphone now. Um, so we know the microphone is working. So now we need to hide the microphone again, and I need to unmute. Uh, my GoXLR so you guys can see the rest of the steps. One thing we're going to do before we add the video is we're going to click on this little settings wheel here over the mixer and we're going to make sure our microphone is set up for mono because all microphones should be set for mono. Okay, 
And now we can do the video source for the gaming PC. So let's go ahead and hit the plus. We're going to go NDI source again, add source. We're going to select a new source. We'll call this one game. Add source. All right. And again, I've gone ahead and hidden a game source because I need you guys to be able to see this little window here. So you can see the next steps under the source name. You're going to select whatever input your gaming monitor is plugged into on your graphic card. You might just have to click through a couple to figure it out. Mine is the first one. And I like to do a low experimental for here as well. And then we hit done. And so now I'm going to unhide. And we're going to shrink the screen so it fits in the windowed area of Streamlabs. All right. Now, important thing, you're still hearing my audio from my Go XLR. So I'm going to mute that again. I've gone ahead and unhidden the microphone, but you can still see my gaming monitor. Um, and you can see my mouse moving here um, because um, let's show you this real quick. If we hit the little eyeball on both of the game and mic, you can see that the game is on top of the mic. So its image is above the microphone. So it's going to hide um, this little NDI screen. So now I've unhidden both the NDI for the mic and the game, and you can see my gaming monitor and you can hear me through the microphone. So now when you start up a game, you will have the image and the audio from the game show up. Um, so let's take a look real quick um, at what that looks like in Streamlabs for the, the mixer portion. All right, so down here, you can see that the microphone is here, but now you also have the game. So when you start playing a game, you can see this meter bouncing up and down and you can mess with these little um, sliders to get the correct volume. So you're not, um, your game's not louder than your microphone or your microphone's not too loud for your game, whatever the case may be. But you get those two things set up, you have them unhidden and you can um, basically just start gaming. So you go live and start gaming. It's that simple. That's the NDI setup for Streamlabs. All right, and that's how you set up a dual PC stream without a capture card. I hope that it was informational. I hope that you guys were able to get it set up for yourself. It should be pretty, pretty easy to do. Um, if you have questions, you know, drop some comments down there. I'll try to answer them, but it should be. I think I laid it out pretty straightforward for you. Um, don't forget that I do stream on Twitch on occasion, mostly on Mondays and sometimes Tuesdays or Thursdays. Um, feel free to stop by and ask questions there as well. Um, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. The next video we're going to do is about the same thing, but with the capture card and a very specific capture card, the Camlink Pro doesn't actually sound like a capture card but it does do the same thing as a capture card as well as allow you to hook up dslr cameras and stuff so it'll be pretty exciting i uh, hope to see you guys there cool dude out